What's up everybody? Welcome to this week's Market Watch for February 23rd through the 28th. I'm Jason Zwalik of the Zwalik Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. We got back from our family vacation in Hawaii feeling rejuvenated, ready to go, uh, had a great time and are ready to get back into it and get some numbers to you guys. So market is still saying pretty much the same as what we've said in, in the past couple weeks. It is still hot as anything right now. Uh, seller's market, we're not seeing inventory or supply come on as fast as we have in the past, which is really uh, concerning for some people, especially if you're looking at buying because it can get a little bit frustrating. For se our sellers, we're seeing homes fly off the shelves, they're getting top dollar, they are selling quickly. So it's a great time to be a seller. If you are a buyer, like I said in the past, if you have a strategy, you can still win in this market. You just have to have a strategy. You have to have a good agent that's gonna come up with a good strategy for you so that they can show you how to win in these challenging and competitive markets. What we're seeing though, since January 17th, we're actually, we in Orange County as a whole, inventory has only gone up 2.2% since January 17th, which is really astonishing. We usually see it move up a little bit higher increments, but it only going up 2.2% is very minimal. In Irvine, it's only, it's actually gone down 3% since January 17th. So we're actually seeing inventory go down and on a week to week basis, we're seeing it go up and down. It's fluctuating around that 4,000 mark. Last week we we're below 4,000, this week we we're above 4,000. So in, the, in Orange County, we're really seeing it hover right around that 4,000 home mark. So it's, uh, it's quite interesting. It's still a hot market and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy out there right now. So those of you tuning in for the first time, as well, you know, what, what I do each week is I take a look at what's happening in Orange County and in Irvine, and then I break down the Irvine market into three different categories, first time, step up, and luxury. So first off, let's jump in and take a look at what's happening in an Orange County over the past week. So in Orange County, we saw 606 homes sell. Uh, that's compared to 541 last week. Uh, the active inventory right now is 4,110 homes. Uh, last week we had 4,026. We did see a slight increase in our supply this week. The average days on market uh, this week was 44 days. Uh, and that's for the homes that have sold. And last week it was 48. So we're really seeing those days on market really come down. Um, and th th that's what we're, we're seeing across the board. We're seeing homes that are uh, that are selling, they're selling very quickly. And those are the ones that are aligned with the market. And we'll talk about that a little bit again later on. I talk about it each week, but it, there, it is so important. Uh, so the average price was $885,812. The average list price was 898,129, with a list of sold average of 98.6%. Uh, that is actually up from last week's 96.8%. So we did see some some changes this week. Uh, we did see that list of sold um, average get a little bit uh, tighter at 98.6%, uh, jumped up about 2% uh, over last week. And sometimes that is something that we see. Uh, when we get into these hot sellers markets, sometimes we'll see some fluctuations week to week where some sellers are that, that have priced their homes a little too high. They're having to take that price reduction to come into where we're more fair market value or just above fair market value and that's where the home is selling. Buyers right now, they're still not gonna overpay by too much, but they are willing to stretch their budget a little bit. Um, they're gonna look at fair market value, they might go a little bit above fair market value, but I don't think we're gonna see them go way above fair market value as of yet. But uh, but we are seeing some, uh, some things happen in this market where it's just, it's really tough for buyers out there because they're looking at everything, they're staying on top of things. Uh, we have buyers that we're working with, we're, we're trying to find off-market properties for them because it's just so hard to uh, compete with what's out there and they've seen everything that's out there and there's just really, there's nothing for them. And that's the problem when you don't have as much supply, there's not as much to choose from. So what we do for our clients is we try to find houses for them. So we'll send out letters, we'll door knock, we'll think, we're just gonna really try to find someone that maybe be thinking 
thinking of selling, but they don't want to go through the hassle, so we can try to do something um, off market. So uh, that's one thing that we try to do, and it is a great strategy uh, if you do um, are looking for a home and in these competitive markets. Uh, so now that we've taken that Orange County, let's take a look at Irvine and see if there's any similarities in what happened over the last week there. So in Irvine, we had 61 homes sell, uh, up slightly from 59 last week. Uh, average days on market for the homes that sold was 75 days. Uh, so we saw some, some homes that had been on the market a little bit longer. They actually uh, did sell. Uh, last week was actually 42, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Uh, the average price was uh, $1,119,421. The average list price was 1.146, sorry, 1,146,423 uh, with a list of sold average of 97.6%. This jumped almost 5%. This was, it was at 93% last week. So that we had a big jump in the Irvine list to sold uh, average. And I think that's, uh, that's again, indica indicative of what we're seeing where this market is going. Uh, last week, we saw a drop dip down 93%, that list of sold average. And what we saw there was some of the homes that were on the market, they actually did um, have to do some price reductions to sell. Uh, and we saw the same thing happen in the Orange County. So they're, they're really kind of pacing themselves. They're kind of almost the same, uh, very similar things are happening in both those markets. 96.4% um, last week in Orange County and 93% this week in the list of sold average. And then we went from 98.6 and then the, to the 97.3. So we did see some changes there and that's something that's pretty important. That's, that's pretty huge um, as we move into this next week. So the market is still strong in Orange County and in Irvine. Uh, we're not seeing any, any um, signs that it's going to slow down. Um, as we said, supply is just coming on so slowly that when those homes come on and if they're priced right, if they're marketed properly, if they're they looking, they're in great condition, they're moving fast. They're in multiple offers. They're getting picked up. Um, they're on the market and then they're gone. So, uh, and that's what we talk about alignment. Our three keys to alignment is that pricing, the condition, and the marketing. Uh, so that's something that really to look 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 at if you're looking at coming on the market. And again, as a buyer, just having having a right strategy is is so key. So for those of you that have been with us before, you know that now I take a look at three different sub markets within Irvine. The first one I look at is the first time home buyers market. This is homes that are priced from zero to $750,000. So let's check that out and see what happened last week. So in the first time home buyer market, we saw 91 homes on the market. Um, that was uh, th that was down slightly from 96 last week, uh, so we did see a little dip in the in the inventory. Uh, the we had 20 homes sell this week versus 23 last week. The average days on market, so we had six or is 60 days on the market. That's for the homes that are currently active for that 91. The interesting thing for the homes that sold, the average days on market was 47. So what we're seeing there, and I wanted to pull this as a kind of a new stat I, I did. Usually what I do with these, these sub markets is I look at what the average days on market is for the homes that are currently active. I wanted to look at what had sold and what the average days on market is there. And we're seeing a, a drop of about 13 days. Uh, so we have 47 days on the market for the ones that sold, 60 days, currently is the average for the homes that are, are still on the market. So what we're seeing again, those homes that are aligned properly are selling quick. And that's why we're seeing a, a lower uh, days on market, low, lower average market time. The homes that they might not be aligned properly, they might be overpriced, they may not be in the best condition, uh, they may not have professional photography, they may not be showing great online, they may be sitting a little bit. Um, now again, 60 days average isn't anything to really panic about, but still, you, for those of you that are, some people come on the market and they expect their house to sell really, really quickly. And after the first couple of weeks, they're getting nervous that they haven't got any offers. So that's one thing to look at is your home aligned properly. And your agent should be talking to you about alignment and making sure your home is aligned properly. So that's what's happening in the first time home buyers market. Now I take a look at the step up, which is from 750 to 1.25 million. There are some people I know I 
that I understand that may be in the first time home buyer market in this category as well. But uh, for this purpose, I just kind of break it into the three so we can really hone in and try to break down these three sub markets uh, and really help you guys out. So let's take a look at the step up category. So in the step up category, we have 184 homes on the market. Uh, pretty much exactly the same. We had 183 last week. 28 homes sold this week, same as last week. We had 28 last week. The average days on market this week is uh, for the active homes is 60 days. The average days on market last week was 63. So pretty much the same. And interesting one here is with the days on market, again, what did a little, looked at the sold, the 28, 28 homes that sold, the average days on market was 74. So it was a little bit higher than we saw in the first time home buyers. A little bit of an anomaly. So the average uh, days on market for the homes that sold, so for those 28, was 74 days. The average days on market for the 184 homes that are currently on the market is 60 days. So we did see a little bit of a difference there. Um, this is usually the bread and butter category. A lot of homes fall into this category here in Irvine. But uh, I think it's, um, again, it's a strong market. We're still seeing homes that are that are aligned, are flying off the shelf, and they're, mo they're moving very quickly. So uh, we're not really seeing much of a change there. And from last week to this week, it's almost status quo. So now that we take a look at anything over 1.25 million, which falls into our luxury category. So let's take a look and see what happened last week in the luxury side of things in Irvine. So luxury homes, we had 13 homes sell last week uh, versus eight, or 13 homes sold last week versus eight the week before. Uh, 201 current homes on the market. Uh, last week there was 208, so we did see a little bit of a dip in the uh, home, the number of homes that are on the market in uh, the luxury side of things. Uh, we had 95 days average on market for the homes that are currently active for those 201. Big jump here, a third of the days on market. 61 days is the average days on market for the 13 homes that have sold. So we did see a big jump. 95 days average days on market for the current actives versus um, 61 days for the cur the solds last week. So you see, again, even in the luxury side of things where we typically see days on market is a little bit longer, the average so uh, days on market for the solds actually outpaced and was shorter than the step up market, which is between 750 and 1.25 million. It's just that type of market right now. We're trying to guess and we're trying to uh, look at these trends and try to figure things out if we can and try to predict what's gonna happen and sometimes get thrown a little curveball like this. But overall, market is strong. We're still in a hot seller's market. And uh, again, as a buyer, I understand it can be frustrating, but you just need to have a strategy. You need to sit down with your agent. Um, if your agent isn't coming up with a strategy, call us and we'll give you a strategy and we'll help you out. Uh, even if we're not in your area, we can kind of give you some questions that you can talk about. Uh, reach out, be happy to help in any way that we can. So uh, now what I do each week is I take a look at what's happening in the uh, mortgage world. So these rates were as of Friday. Uh, thanks again to Patty Carpenter. She, uh, she always gets, gets me these rates, so I stay up to date so we can get them to you. So let's take a look at what happened in the mortgage world. So conforming 15-year fixed is 3.5%. Uh, 30-year fixed is 4% with a 7-1 arm. So the variable is 3.65%. Uh, rates are still low, and that's really what's pushing the buyers, the fact that there's a lot of buyers out there. Uh, we're really driving this is our historic low interest rates. Uh, buying power is a lot more right now, and it's really, really driving uh, buyers into the market. The jumbo 30 year fix is a 3.375% with a 7-1 arm of 4% uh, in the with uh, jumbo. Uh, the FHA 30 year fix for 3.49% and for our veterans out there, the 30 year fix is 4.125%. So that's what's happening in the o Irvine and Orange County housing market. Again, super strong. If you're thinking of selling, Make sure you get out, uh, get your home ready, and get hit hit this spring market. Take advantage of this red hot market. You will, will not be disappointed. Remember to align your pro home properly, and you will not leave any money on the table. I can guarantee that. Uh, also, 
If you are a buyer, make sure you're coming up with a strategy. You're sitting down with your agent, your agent's coming up with one. Again, if you have any questions, you can hit us up in the comment section, reach out to us directly. All of our contact information is here. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, make sure that you tune in next week. Uh, if you find this video helpful in any way, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when a new video comes up. I need to do a new one every weekend. Um, I try to get them out every Friday. Uh, the last couple weeks have been a little bit different just because I was on vacation. It was a little bit more uh, difficult for me to do so. But uh, moving forward, usually every Friday, you're gonna see the new video for the past week. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great week this week. Hope you all kill it out there. And until next week, take care, everybody.